Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah, also known as Slaterella. This is again one of 13 other looks that I'm doing for the month of October. So let's go ahead and get started on this melted ice cream inspired makeup look. So the first thing that I went ahead and did was started off by drawing out all of the melted lines onto my face. I just used this pencil from NYX and it's like a concealer, highlighting pencil, eyeliner, whatever you want to use it for. But what's really nice about it is that if you mess up, you can kind of just wipe everything away. And I did apply foundation prior to doing this. After that, I went ahead and filled everything in with some body paint. And what I actually did was take pink body paint, which is water activated and white, and actually just kind of mix it together. And don't worry if it's not all one solid color, we end up kind of adding and taking away stuff like that, blending it out. So I think with having different colored pinks, it actually gave it a little bit more dimension, made it look a little bit more realistic. And then I started filling everything in with a larger brush. I went ahead and took a Real Techniques sponge and just kind of patted out those areas, made it blend together a little bit better. Leave your eye plain because we are going to go in with some eyeshadow. After that, I went ahead and just filled in some of those lines a little bit more with a lighter pink and some white. Another layer. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm so sorry that I'm blocking this with my mirror. I haven't quite figured out placement of my mirror yet, so you'll have to bear with me. I seriously can't get over how good this look actually turned out. I know it's been done many times before, but this is again my version of it. Now what I'm actually doing is I'm taking that darker pink and I'm really wetting my brush and I'm actually using it to create real drips with this body paint. And you can see me kind of doing it right there. And it really gave it a realistic look. And then I'm going in with a dry brush to actually absorb that end of the drip where I want that to stop. Going in with my sponge and just patting out the top to kind of make sure that everything blends together really nicely. Now what I'm doing is taking a white shadow and just going all the way around my eye to blend this pink and my white eyeshadow together. After that, I took a pink eyeshadow and really, really buffed out my crease. Even though the eye was covered with pink melted ice cream, I still wanted it to look really real and then I went in with that same pink eyeshadow and just kind of matted everything down on the face paint. Going back to the eye. Sorry for jumping around so much. After that I went ahead and patted white eyeshadow right onto my lid as well as my inner corner and my lower lash line. Put on a fierce wing, some mascara, and now for the fun part. I'm going in with a cool toned brown to shadow this ice cream. This is the part that is the most important when it comes to these drips because this is what's gonna make it look realistic or three-dimensional on your face. So what I'm doing is doing the darkest right up against where it would be dripping down. And you can kind of see me doing that. And it got so frustrating, guys, it wasn't even funny. Yeah, you can go ahead and see I accidentally nick the top of my lid with my eyeliner, so that was great. But after that, I went ahead, same thing on the bottom just started really, really defining each of these little drips. And the more drips that you do put on your face, the more detailing work you're gonna have to put into this. So just be aware of that. If you're not comfortable with shading or anything like that, don't do as many drips as I did. 
but you guys can see it just like took it to a whole new level. Now I'm going ahead and just highlighting the drips as well with some white face paint. And again, this is what is going to make it look the most realistic. And because this is on your face, you're going to want to highlight where you normally would highlight and you're gonna wanna shade where you normally would shade on your face. So I'm going in with some white face paint, putting some, sh uh, putting some highlight right on my forehead, and then I actually went ahead and darkened up the outside of my face as well where you would contour and shade, stuff like that. Now for the most annoying part of this entire look, gluing these sprinkles onto my face. What I actually did was just dip these into some lash glue and then I literally individually glued these onto my face. These are real sprinkles. But this is what I think really, really pulled this look together. This is what made it the most fun. Everybody that I sent pictures to or saw this already was like, oh my God, what'd you use for the sprinkles? I'm like, girl, actual sprinkles. You think I'm painting those on? No. But seriously, I love this look. I actually wore it for like three hours after I got done filming it. I just felt like a whole new person. Like, this is me. This is who I am now. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next eye. I went ahead and just really packed on some white eyeshadow onto my lid. And then I really, really smoked out that pink eyeshadow all over. I really wanted it to kind of blend and be very blushy on that side. So don't be afraid to get messy with that pink eyeshadow. I went in with a darker pink just to define everything. and highlighted my cheekbone, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then I contoured everything. And I wanted that pink and that highlight to really blend together. So what I ended up doing was taking more pink after this and just highlighting and uh, blending that pink eyeshadow into it. Another fierce wing on this side. I had to fix the other side because your girl messed up with that black liner hitting my lid. So I ended up adding just a little bit of black to that as well as a little bit on my lower lash line. Go ahead and apply some falsies. Yes, girl. And then I realized my camera wasn't recording when I pressed record. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just taking a bigger brush loading it with water as well as pink and white face paint and literally from my neck down i'm just splattering that all over to create that drip going down my chest then i went in very heavy handed once again with blush and just blushed up my entire cheek my chin my lips my nose all of that because again i wanted it to blend i wanted everything to look very cohesive so that's what i went ahead and did I cannot get over how cute this look turned out. Isn't it so cute? It's so cute. After that, I took a mixture of this light pink liquid lipstick. I just felt like it was too orangey for this look. So what I went ahead and did was take a purpley pink, very blushy purple shade, put that over it, and it just mixed for the perfect lip color. Go ahead and apply your wig. And then for the headband, what I actually did was took a real ice cream cone, cotton balls, and hot glued them to the actual cone, and then spray painted it with some hair color to create that pink look. But that completes this look right here, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Once again, 13 looks for the month of October. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.